we shall do an unboxing of a new Zippo lighter I've received from the courier's office. This is a model number 49049 Zippo Newsprint Design. That is uh, part of the Zippo Premium series. 360 degrees engraved on the black iced finish lighter. This is the first premium lighter that I ever gotten. The box design that is different looking at two reflective surfaces at the sides to showcase the engraving done on all sides of the lighter other than the top. The red sticky adhesive seal still intact and now you know what is my first rule of thumb that is to peel it off at once and here it goes to the underside of the box putting back the guarantee paper now we can have a good look at the lighter laser etched with the compilation of newspaper cuttings Here it's the side view of a Zippo car. The Zippo guarantee is stated at the top. Zippo being an American icon as on the bottom. And here near, next to the hinges is a portrait of Mr. George G. Blaisdell. Right at the front is the Zippo building. Maybe I'll pause. A, we can pause a while to read what's on it. I mostly collect vintage lighters for the quality of his acid etching and silk screen artworks that seems to last forever and even after the paint has dropped very seldom i would look for newer zippo models due to the printings of the artwork that quite easily fall apart but this is not the case here it's laser engraved and which is considered permanent and black ice finish is quite nice this would be this casing made in april of 2019 let's Open it up for the first time. Mm, nice click. And see if the insert matches with the casing and it. And they are a match. Second rule of thumb when processing brand new Zippo lighters is 
to get the flint out from the insert. Here I'm cutting out a thin piece of cardboard to be placed under the flint wheel. This um, square is a little too small, but I'll try to fit it in. There it goes. And now to screw the flint spring back on. As for the case preparation, it has been my preference to wipe off any fingerprints, grime and dirt lightly with a fine cloth soaked in lighter fuel, not putting too much force on it. It will be bad if I cause a scratch, that wouldn't be good. One stroke down the bottom, okay, I'll the Brass casing looks clean and I'm now ready to put the insert back. When opening and closing the lid, do pay attention not to cant the lighter's lid. If so, there may be um, scratches at the chimney which is not desirable. Always make sure, since the hinges may be floppy at times, always make sure that the lid is well centered before closing it shut. Now with this um, plastic protective sleeve, Putting it in and get to work taping it up. By doing so, the use of this plastic sleeve is for the protection of the lighter finishes against external elements such as dust and with further handlings. But with a box like that, let me see and let me try to attempt putting it back in. Ah, look at that. Nice. Managed to put it back into the box. Close the lid and this is ready to be added into my collection. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Hope everyone stays safe and have a great one.